Hello, welcome back. I am Tengu Liam. Uh, you probably would have seen me in the last uh, co-op run with Stem. Uh, and now, we're back to Super Mario World, and we're going to be doing uh, No Cape No Star World, which is a bit of a different category uh, for various reasons. Uh, you've already seen the first three, four levels or so, so I'm just going to get started right away if we're ready on time. Uh, yep. Just uh, give me the countdown. Cool. All right. Three, two... One, so this run, it's a bit longer, just a bit. Um, I have Sten here, back from the last right, back from the last race. Uh, Hello. Co-op run. He's gonna be helping me commentate. And so this here we go. this category is a bit more of a well, um, you could you could say real category, category that people actually run and care about. Um. <laughs> But it starts off, I guess there'll, there'll be, you'll see a fair few differences in um, World 1, because um, in the last in the last run, um, we saw both of us getting the orb, um, which is banned in most categories. Um, yeah, than... because otherwise you would just be going back to get orb, going back to get orb over and over and over again. It doesn't make for the most interesting run. No. So we're seeing just basic platforming throughout World 1, um, that'll be fairly similar, except there won't be um, any grabbing Yoshi here. This level is a bit odd. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running on these little spinny brown platforms for as long as I possibly can. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to hopefully get the fastest possible time that you can get in this level which is a 259, and if you hear us saying like 259, 262, we're referring to like the time in the top right hand corner of the screen, and it counts down, but obviously we're just talking about like how much time is left on the clock, which demonstrates a good time in general. It's a good way to gauge how fast or slow you've gone on the stage, because for a lot of them you're going to be completing them in pretty similar times. Most I'm of the going time. chill jump. Nope. Yeah, so you'll notice that Liam had to jump in the water there. Um, if you take that shell and basically throw it under yourself as you're jumping, you can bounce off it to avoid taking the dip. Um, but it is... Uh, it's got... Um, it's the Two to three frame window. Nice. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a small window and it's a little bit of a... Um, weird inconsistent one so actually this is um where we start to differ with start to differ in a major way from the previous run we actually get to see castle one um because there's no orb here and liam i believe will be getting big and grabbing the fire flower in this room hopefully in yeah um and hopefully keeping that fire flower through um Basically all of the run, at least the first uh, first twenty minutes or so. I'm gonna try and see if ah okay. Sometimes that thing spawns a little bit closer to you. It depends on your inputs and also like a global timer and stuff. And sometimes you can uh, hello okay well. What? How did that hit you? I <laughs> this game is weird. That's oh. honestly not that big of a time loss. I can... I don't need fire explicitly until Castle 2, and there's, like, plenty of places to get it back, so it's not a huge deal. It's just unusual. Normally it's... Normally you can enter that door with no problems. Yeah, I don't know. I was I was pressing up, so, like, eh. Yeah. This Super Mario game is weird. Strike, strike again. <laughs> <laughs> they are dangerous. You're also going to be hearing us say a lot of like two to three frame window. That's because this game, once again, is really weird. And for some reason, when you're running at full speed, Mario's speed differs by like, it differs from three to four different values that cycle every frame. So that means that some strats are consistent and some strats are kind of like luck dependent based on like what speed you manage to get and yeah you can't really control it when you're running you can control it when you have cape but it's not very possible to tell 
in this run. It'll come into play um, later in the run. Basically, so Mario's jump height is um, dependent on his speed, and because of that oscillating speed, it can actually... Uh, there are some places, or there are some jumps that you can make sometimes if you happen to jump on the right frame. Yeah, it messes with some stuff, but mo for the most part, it's pretty consistent. Um, if I get hit here, that's not a huge deal either. I need to be small for the level in two levels. So, I am actually just gonna go ahead and take damage here intentionally. Yeah, that's um, a good place to take damage as well. You can grab yeah. that roadblock easily and swim quickly. It was either gonna be there or it was going to be in, um... Donut Ghost House. Then I'm gonna see if I can turn you up somehow. Um, hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so being small here is... Some people actually prefer to stay small. It doesn't really matter that much so long as you have fire going out of Castle 2. Um, yeah. but here, I'm gonna be grabbing P-Speed as fast as possible so that I can scroll the screen, bounce on those boos, and get up to that door, which, despite the game hinting that it's not, it is always there. And here comes one of everyone's absolute least favorite levels in the entire game, especially in this category, DP3. Yeah, this is uh, just a tough level without a cape. If you've got a cape, it's just, it's straightforward, you just fly over the whole thing, but without a cape, it's a lot of precise platforming, and it's quite difficult. In particular, that, that jump to the on-off block is um, one of the hardest, so the fact that Liam is... <laughs> that is a 2-3 like to three frame jump as well. Oh my god! Oh, I don't know how you missed that. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's... Like, that would have been worse if I had fire, but... Oh, yeah. I it's got un the It's midway. unfortunate, but you've got the midway, so... Just... Yeah, that actually screwed things up. <laughs> I... Uh, you know what? That... Okay. Well, we're just yeah. gonna... We're just gonna... Slide on down. That was Unfortunately, sketchy. this is one of those levels where once you've... Uh, once you don't have speed, it's difficult to get it back and still have um, have the platforms be in the right positions. Yeah, some of the things that can go wrong is like, you know, you lose speed speed in a specific spot and therefore the enemies are in the wrong place so you can't jump on them, or you miss a platform and you just go like straight into the pit that goes under the entire level. So, you know, just not very fun, but I'm done with it now and that's what matters. Here I'm going to carry the shell so I can kill that guy early and get up there and keep my pace speed. I'm gonna jump on him here, grab a mushroom, and we're gonna be seeing a bit of Yoshi here. That was weird, I clipped into the block. I'm gonna scroll here so I can consistently grab that fire flower because I need it for castle 2. And here I'm gonna be doing some pretty tight platforming because the enemies get in the way, and then this. Yeah, perfect. The yeah, reason so why- oh yeah, you go. Yeah, throwing Yoshi there is, um, basically Yoshi falls slower than Mario does, so by throwing throwing Yoshi at that point, he can, um, you can guarantee that he gets across the gap, and then obviously Mario, having jumped off, has that bit of extra height to be sure you get across the gap, because you can, you can make that jump, uh, in theory, without, um, without the Yoshi ditch, but it is very tight, and very easy to miss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to do a re-grab, and it's like, very, very tired. Regrads. That's a thing. Yeah, so the way the way um Mario works in this game is that uh, if you're holding A, he will... Well, if you're holding A or B, he will fall slower. Um, and that, that includes, like, you can... Means that you can, like, tap a button to do a short jump and then re-grab in order to fall a bit slower. Oh. Um, in situations where you might need a bit of... A bit of distance from a jump, but not so much height. Flubbed the strat there, but that's okay. I'm bringing this spring all the way over, because as you can see, this level likes to go back and forth. So by bringing the spring with me, I can do this. And skip having to wait for the platforms to cycle back and forth. 
And you'll notice he killed, um, killed Morton with um, two fireballs in the swamp. So normally Morton will die to, um, I never remember if it's 10 or 12 fireballs or three stomps but then you can do two fireballs in the stomp it's a bit like um it's a bit like what strikes in baseball that's a that's a thing that people are familiar with right <laughs> the math there doesn't seem to add up to me no, you can get, you get. i think yeah, you no, have I'm, to I'm gonna stop trying once. to use the, i'm gonna stop trying to use the sports metaphors um <laughs> that, that's not working for me so here, I'm actually going to grab a backup flower, you know, just in case I screw up. And also, if I manage to keep this flower all the way to a certain level, it saves, like, a tiny bit of time. But it's more so, like, you know, if something goes wrong, it's nice to have a backup. You can also spam crouch while you're in the keyhole with Yoshi for some reason. Only with Yoshi, though. And unfortunately, here we're going to be saying bye-bye to our little lizard friend. Uh, he's completely fine, though. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna chill with these Koopas and the green bean platforms for a while. Yeah. God, I hate the green beans. Oh God, that was sketchy. Okay. Yeah, the gr the green beans are a bit jank. Um, like if they're not completely on the screen, and sometimes even if they are completely on the screen, you just they just won't have collision. So you can you can see it and think I'll be able to bounce on this and then you just go right through it and yeah and then sometimes anywhere. like yeah exactly and then sometimes like it just doesn't let you bounce off of them it just like keeps you there it sticks you to them it eats your jump it's really not fun so we just ditched Yoshi but uh here he is again he's gonna be sticking with us for a little bit longer this time. Yeah, so hopefully Liam will be keeping this Yoshi until um, Forest of Illusion One. Uh, Forest of Illusion Two. Oh yeah, so God, Forest of Illusion Two. Oh, that was weird. Um, yeah, where he'll be quite useful for a, a glitch. Yoshi is um kind of broken. You, you find, yeah, he, he's he's broken in many many ways. Like if you've got a Yoshi. In, in, in a cape category, if you've got a Yoshi, you are almost definitely using him for a glitch. In no cape, he is a bit... he is more useful for movement. And not slower than flying. Here are the dolphins. Uh, they are sometimes friends. I would classify them an 8 on the friend scale. Yeah, um, fun fact, um, on the Japanese version of the game, Yoshi can eat the dolphin. Like that. <laughs> I just wanted but to they, show it off. <laughs> they um they patched it out in the English releases. For some reason. Oh, he's catching up. He's yeah, catching up. Fugamanen is on your tail. <laughs> yeah, his name's Fugumanen. I think like in Japanese that's like Fuguman Fugumanen. Yeah, I don't English, speak Japanese. He's named, in English he's named Porky Popper. Is he actually? Oh, I did not know that. Here's another weirdly named Japanese to English enemy that will be at the end of this very, very long and boring swimming fortress. Uh, in Japanese, they're called Buibui, and in English, they're called Reziposes. I don't know what. Uh, the... I, I believe it's I believe it's Resnor in English. <laughs> what What am I saying? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I that's. Uh... I'm so dumb. Uh, Resnor. Yeah, that's that's Resnor's. Uh, if this is a long, boring um, side scroll, do I have time for donuts? Or we sure do. Um, yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, we have a $25 from Anonymous that just says no comment, and we have a $44 from Anonymous that says Byleth name, 22 to Fear Deer, all in caps, and 22 to Edelgard. And we just got $30 from Hitchy saying Super Mario World speedrun is lit as F. I'm pretty sure F means fun. Oh yes, definitely lit as fun. Yeah. Uh, you've got time for some more donations, because uh, right after yeah. that really long, boring water section, we have a two and a half minute auto-scroll up. 
Everyone. Okay. Hey, uh, well, Dono's just finished uh, for the time being. Hopefully, we get some more in pretty soon. But I can let people know about the incentives they can put their donations to. Uh, up next, for the very next run, we have Fire Emblem Three Houses Name Bid War. The top two will be our chosen two for by look for the two runners that are racing against one another. Uh, right now in the lead, we have Edelgard at 22 and Fear Deer also at 22. Following that, we have Hector at 20, uh, LimeWire at 10, and Hactor at 10 at 5. Uh, after that, we have Super Monkey Ball, which is a language choice bid war with German in the lead by $10. You can also bid towards Italian or English. Um, easy snipes if you prefer Italian or English over German, but uh, I don't know, German sounds fun to me. Um, we also have the Super Monkey Ball Monkey Choice, which is between uh, Gon Gon, Baby, Mini, so Nini and Ali, and Gon Gon is in the lead with $20. The rest have zero, so if there's a particular one of those you like, uh, you know, go for it. And after that, we have River City Ransom Rescue uh, Sydney, Cindy, which uh, we need $600 for that. We have not put anything into that, so if you if you want to help on that, please, please do. Is the Three Houses run Golden Deer, or is it a bid war for which route they're doing? I will let you know. It is Verdant Wind. Ah, that's my favorite. Uh, I only know Golden Deer and Black Eagle, so they're the only two I've beat. I'm not sure. So I assume Verdant Wind is... Verdant Wind is Golden Deer, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So, we are now done with the two minute long auto scroller and back into some actual interesting platforming in Bubble Bridge 2. This level is deceptively difficult. I'm gonna go for the dumb strap. Oh no. I'm gonna go for it. Ah, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can do some weird stuff with Yoshi's tongue interaction and you can. Oh. I wanna grab that, yeah. Uh, you can actually grab the shell fall underneath the level and bounce off the shell that is in Yoshi's mouth. Uh, this game is weird and Yoshi is broken. I was worried I was going to go over the goalpost there. Yeah, so something we haven't mentioned, unless, oh, I guess um, we did see it in um, Vanilla Dome 1 as well, is that um, if Yoshi has a blue shell in his mouth, um, he can fly. He just get, gets wings. Yeah, and then if you have a blue Yoshi, no matter what, shell he has in his mouth. He just has wings. Fly high, sweet prince. Yeah, we won't see a blue Yoshi in this run. Doors. The coloured Yoshis can only be found in, um, all the different coloured Yoshis. Um, red, yellow, and... Um, blue red, yellow, blue. Found, yeah, can only be found in Star World and... Although you can get um you can get a blue Yoshi by, by um uh, grabbing wings of Yoshi and going to the coin heaven. There's a conspiracy theory there, I'm sure, about how Yoshi is a Pokemon with those colours. No no, Yoshi is a horse. Yoshi is a horse. You know it because he lays eggs. Yeah. No, I'm just, I was just pointing out that the three colours are the Gen 1 colours. Oh yes. Uh, and they're they're, they're, they're uh, also yeah. just the basic colors. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the gamer colors, RGB. And yellow. And and yellow. Yellow's there, <laughs> honorarily. RGBY. Yeah. That's what I like to buy, RGBY keyboards. Ah, thank you for reminding me. I was going to buy a new keyboard this week, but I forgot. What kind? So, uh, just uh, Logitech. Ah, oh, fair enough. <laughs> So, so just we the... just saw we just we just saw Liam kill Ludwig with um, two fireballs and a storm, um, much like Morton, um, and that actually saves um, about fourteen seconds because normally if you jump on Ludwig once he'll spin around and flop and jump all over the place, but you can just skip all that with fire, thankfully. Yeah, you can do like a cycle skip if you jump on Ludwig while he's in the air, but like no need for that when I've got fire. Also. I can just I'm gonna show it off anyway. You can do this. And that gives you an that gives you like a backup fire if you don't have one. It just looks pretty cool. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh no P speed then. That's fine, I guess. 
god. Please. Yes! The yeah, way um... that Hammer Bro throws hammers is like, not luck, but it's not possible to control for a human. Oh, uh, it's it, it it it's luck. Um, so he he throws the hammers the same way each time. It's actually um, one of those luck jumps. Um, uh, if you it basically depends on the height of your jump as to whether you get hit. Oh, is that why? Oh, okay. I thought it was just oh. Ooh, that okay. actually shouldn't affect much. That should be fine. Just have to wait out that first one. I'm actually just gonna wait this out to be safe. This is a scary level. Um, I'll let Stan explain why. Yeah, so this is, um, this is why Liam's kept Yoshi so long. Basically, uh -huh. they can take it and, um, use it to clip into the wall. Oh my god! Um, but unfortunately, when you get into the wall, even if you've done everything right, there is just a 1 in 4 chance if you dismount on the wrong frame. Um, that you get kicked out. Okay, there we go. There. That's how it's supposed to go. That's like one of the only times where I've clipped out and it wasn't my fault. And of and course, swim, Yoshi again. You can swim barely back in bounds in order to grab this um, throw block because it is, again, still faster to swim with an item. Yeah, and for some reason this key's hitbox just oh, extends beneath the floor. So you can just grab it from underneath without even needing to... Uh, Sten's died here. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, if you, um... You can hit the goal, um... If, if you basically hit hit very bottom of the goal without being completely back in bounds, it's possible to just fall off the bottom of the level yeah. and die. Um, it's very rare, but it's really funny. Oh yes, it was hilarious, but also awful. <laughs> Not going for the wall jump because uh, it's dumb. Uh, you know what? Ah! <laughs> oh wait, hang on. I need to get up there. Um. Okay, so this level's a bit odd because I, I don't want you. To... Okay. Uh, well, you're coming with me. Guess you've got the mushroom now. Yes, I have the mushroom now. Uh, that's gonna affect the next level, but that's okay. Um, yeah, this level's weird because you there's a lot of, like, verticality in the way, and there isn't much that, you know, Mario can do to get rid of it. Which kind of sucks, but, um, what I was trying to do there is I was trying to do a shell jump. Uh, it's a lot harder to do with fire than it is to do small, because when you re-grab Y, you shoot a fireball, and you can just, like, kill the shell mid-air, which is really fun, but... You don't need to do that. I just screwed up. <laughs> um, so this level, you have to do a damage boost. Um, this is why I was going to save fire for as long as I can, because there's this really long spike section halfway through the level, and what you're meant to do is you're meant to drop fire, hit the hit the spikes, and then re-grab fire, and then run along the ground when you have iframes. But instead, I'm just going to do the easier version, which loses a little bit of time, but that's okay. Uh, hello, friend. Oh, I hate when the fireball decides to come with you. It's so spooky. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to... Just careful of the blocks, and it will still be there. Okay, you can go under it. Yeah, I did a left right. <laughs> Not meant right. to be like that. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, so the the intended um, the intended way of doing that level is just riding the block snake like across all the way across those spikes, which is, as you can imagine, quite slow. Yeah, in Cape you can just fly across all the way, so you can just skip the block snake entirely. But with this category, you kind of have to wait a little bit, which sucks. But that's all good. Losing fire here is not bad either. Because this is one of, like, the, you know, shorter ends of the boss's spectrum. And then you can grab Mushroom back pretty fast in the next level. And then after that, the rest of the run is more or less going to be done small. So, not a big deal whatsoever. 
going to be entering Chocolate Island, which is, yeah, again with the food named. Everything is food named except for Valley of Bowser. Hello. Valley of Bowser, Forest of Illusion, and Star Road. Special World? Special World, yeah. Alright, uh, looks like I'm doing this. <laughs> That's still fine because there's a secondary mushroom that I can get later. Oh. There we go. Uh, without, the, without the cave, you can skip the first cannon pipe there. Because they went through, but not the second. You just can't. That, that the second one's too big a gap to get across. Yeah. You're meant to just run along and then, like, jump on the pipe and then across the gap. But you kind of need peace feet for that, and I kind of screwed that up. Uh, should I go for spooky door? Ooh. I'm oh, gonna go yes, for it. Of course. I'm gonna go for it. It's it's really no different to any other door with cake. Basically, the... This level, there's a hole that just sort of moves around the bottom of the level, and the hole is right near this oh. door. Um, so, as you can imagine, if you miss that door and you're um, <laughs> trying to enter it, uh, and the hole moves under it, it can be a bit of a problem. That's clean. That yeah. is a two-frame window, I want to say. Not 100% sure. Something it's a door. tight. It's a door. Doors are difficult. Doors are scary. Doors are the hardest boss in Super Mario World. And what is the frame rate of this game? Uh, 60. Six, approximately 60.0988 frames per second. <laughs> Although actually running on... SNES Classic, however. Running on SNES Classic, it's... Is it even 60 or...? It's like... So on regular SNES, it's like 59 point something, isn't it? No, no, regular, regular SNES is 60.0988, approximately. I think SNES Classic is 60 point, like, 1. 60.1, I want to say. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was slower, but then it saved time with lag or something. It's oh, yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's slower, it's like 59, but on cutscenes, it just shaves off time somehow. So I'm running on SNES Classic, and oh my, Ooh. did you see that? Yeah, so the, the the intention there was to throw the Buzzy Beetle at the Chuck and um, have it kill the Chuck. Um, unfortunately, if you throw it at exactly the wrong spot, it will clip through the slope and not hit the Chuck. Yeah, that's what it's meant to look like, but slopes are really weird in this game, and they don't have the best of hitboxes. Uh, help. Ooh. Okay. Strikes again. <laughs> they don't have the best of hitboxes, let's say. And sometimes shells clip through them, sometimes you clip through them, sometimes Yoshi clips through them. It's, you know, mixed bag. Yeah, slopes, um, especially steeper slopes, are just... They're not good. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I want the... I want the mushroom there, because the next level is spooky scary. And, uh, I need it to do a damage boost to skip cycle. Backward slide. Here, I'm going to bounce on those in the exact right way in order to grab P-Speed and hopefully keep it for the rest of the level. Unfortunately, um, this room does have more slopes, <laughs> which um, yeah. complicates things. These ones are alright, um, yeah. but there's a particularly steep one amongst um, amongst these, the, right these um, here. falling that platforms, uh, which will sometimes just eat your jump. Yep, yeah. uh, it's really nice. Sometimes you just like run right into the lava. But that time it was nice to me. I think after the first slope, I think this game is done with throwing curveballs at slopes with me. Luckily, there are no more bad slopes. That's the worst level. Now, here's Wendy. Uh, Wendy is interesting. I'm gonna go for another two-frame jump. Uh, because Ooh, it's you're silly. Going for I'm going for Undersaw. Going for all the memes. That's, that's dangerous. I like it. 
So that's why I kept Mushroom there, so I can take damage there and skip a cycle, and... Yes! Yeah, so that, that jump under the saw there, you, you basically have to... You have to jump for two frames or less. Real good times. And it seems very... like absolutely no time at all, but it looks so cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a small time save. I want to say it's less than a second. Ah, uh, here's Wendy. She's the only unique boss that we get to see in this run, apart from Bowser. Um, you can actually tell where she's going to pop up based off of if you check, like, the, the pipes beneath. It shows her feet for, like, a frame, and you can tell. Uh, but losing Mushroom again, it's... Mm, whatever. That's fine. I... You know what? I'll go for double despawn. So here's the meme, right? Next level, I'm going to be doing very specific movement to despawn enemies, right? And there are two enemies that I want to despawn, two boo rings. And sometimes, usually you're aiming for one despawn, because that's the, like, the standard. And sometimes you'll get a double despawn, and that's a lot rarer, and it's harder to control. But before the run... I managed to get three double despawns in a row. Uh, yeah, that, was, that was impressive. It was weird, and I... <laughs> I'll see if I can do it again. It'll be very silly if I do, but... Alright, so I'm gonna be swimming more or less straight ahead and do a slight pause right there. I think that was a bit too much for double despawn. Hard to say. But we'll see with this. There's like two boos right there. Yeah, that was a bit late. These two boos that I'm under right here, they basically, they rely as like an indicator to tell you whether you got the despawn. So there should be a boo ring here, but there isn't because I successfully despawned it. I'm just going to wait it out because I don't want to die. This boo ring can also despawn, but it's a lot harder to do. Yeah, technically the fastest way to do this level as small Mario is just to um to get that um to not bother with the despawn at all and then swim just thread the needle between two boo rings but that's spooky as heck yeah um so what you can do is despawn one of them and then possibly damage boost through the other or um despawn one and wait the other out like liam has orb oh. orb That's that orb that you saw us grabbing in the previous run. That's what it's meant to look like. It didn't really look like that in the previous run. And that's because yeah. of sprites, lots, and it's, stuff. It's not designed to appear in like, tile sets other than, um, other than the ghost ship. Yeah, so it just takes on whatever sprite is occupying that tile set. That occupying that tile in the tile set which we spawn the, the orb in. This is a scary level, but you get to see some cool moles. They're wearing sunglasses, and I like them a lot. They're pretty chill. Except when um, you run into them, and they have kind of massive hitboxes. They have big foreheads, and if you touch them, they kill you. And that's because they don't like you talking about their big foreheads. It's understandable. I rate the moles a 7 out of 10 on the friend scale, because their hitboxes are not very good. And I like to kill you randomly. I'm gonna go for a dumb strat here again. I mean, personally, I do prefer when my friends don't kill me. That is honestly fair. Bye. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for a dumb strat. Uh, again. I believe this time it's just flat two frames. Um, yeah, I think... It's a bit iffy as to... It, it... Ooh, nice. I'm not going to make that cycle. No, okay. <laughs> Damn. So, so that was the sandbar clip. Basically, um, if the sandbar is at the right height, um, you can spin jump and just clip through it. Um, 
unfortunately, do, doing that without losing speed and dying, or uh, without, I guess, doing that without losing speed on its own is is not. What am I trying to say? <laughs> um, uh, getting the clip alone is not enough to save time. You need to keep speed and um, run far enough to skip a cycle. And yeah. unfortunately, because Liam got through on the second try. Um, they weren't able to save that cycle. Yeah, I think I pressed it slightly too early and then... Ah, okay, no lock jump. That there is another one of those lock jumps that depends on which frame I press jump on. Sometimes you can just jump over there without the need of, you know, the sandbar coming up. Here's a fun level. Um, It's really scary. This is probably the scariest level on the run uh, because everything can kill you. And you're gonna be trying to keep speed, p speed, p speed <laughs> throughout the entire level uh, without getting hit, and it's really tight, and it's really scary. And to top it off, there are resnors at the end. And ooh, very nice. Okay, here's our good friend Bwee Bwee. That was not intentional damage, but I'm gonna call it intentional damage. It was intention. It was intentional damage to deboost through the other fireball. Yeah. In all seriousness, though, Resnors are scary because when you're small and you hit their platform, they can just sometimes teleport you to the left or the right, and knock you right into the lava. Yeah. So, like, if you if you're on, say, over on the right side. And you, you can hit one from underneath, and it will just put you smack dab in the middle of the room, um, right above lava. Yeah, it's it's so weird. <laughs> Alright, and here's the final boss. Uh, coming up on the end of the run, we've got about two minutes left. Uh, here's Bowser, and he is the most unique boss in the run. Because what he's going to be doing is he's going to be flying around in this little clown car. And he's going to chuck out little Mecha Koopas at us, and we are going to try and hit him with them. Like this, and just go bonk. Um, I don't know whether this cycle will work. I'm just going to wait for him to chuck the Mecha Koopa. Yeah, cool. Ooh, okay, at least you didn't hit the other Mecha Koopa. Yeah, sometimes, the the reason why I did that is because I had an early hit on the first one, and sometimes he just like chucks the Mecha Koopa off screen, and you don't get to pick it up like I have it now. And you want to pick it up because you can skip a cycle if you keep this little guy until the next... So there are three phases in this boss fight. This is the second phase. And if I keep this Mecha Koopa here, I can actually skip... A cycle and it saves what like 15 seconds I think here it is now it's called ball skip that was a bit yeah, early so, so Bowser you notice he threw that one ball in the wall normally he throws two but if you hit him right before he's about to throw the second yeah I missed it I, I was a bit early on the throw Damn. that's okay would be able to skip the second ball if it basically Bowser has to stop and be about to throw it and then get hit, and it'll skip that ball entirely. It saves a little bit of time. Plus, having a Mecha Koopa going into the start of the next phase also saves time. Doesn't so skip a cycle, but it still saves a solid like five seconds. Yeah. So normally, um, Bowser at the start of phase three will start bouncing all over the place. Um, normally, he bounces eight times. Um, but if you hit him instantly with the Mecha Koopa, he will only bounce five. Uh, time's coming up on the first frame that Peach appears out of her- out of the car. I'll I'm ready to the game. Yep. And... Time. It's 38.49. 38 that's actually not bad for my standards. <laughs> for a marathon run, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. It's a good run. I think there were like four deaths overall, and I got a bunch of meme strats, so that was fun. That was not bad. And for the true ending in this game, you have to hold up on the d-pad uh, after the fireworks play. Because if you're small, Mario inexplicably becomes big and starts clapping. 
I don't know why that Mario happens. will just start clapping. Yeah. This ending theme is also really good. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, this is actually a pretty good run, and I this was so much fun. I want to thank all speedruns for having me here, and letting me and Stan run. Um, tune in for the next run, being Fire Emblem Three Houses, Verdant Wind, and it's a race as well. Uh, make sure to snipe that name Byleth incentive, because I think that will be closing in the next couple of minutes. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.